Hi, I'm Adrian from Techno and today we're going to talk about why it's important to clean your brake components such as rotors and discs before you fit them so that in the bedding in stage you don't have any issues. Disc thickness variation or DTV is the uneven wear of the rotors during operation and this often does not become apparent until 10 to 15,000 kilometres after disc machining or replacement. Poorly serviced calipers can accelerate the occurrence of DTV as can high levels of rake rotor runout at fitment that is greater than 0.1 of a millimetre. DTV is also often caused by off-brake wear resulting in flat spots or thin sections of the disc. It causes torque variations with the symptoms such as a pulsing pedal, steering wheel oscillations and vibrations through the floor of the vehicle. How do we measure it? This is done by measuring the thickness of the rotor using a vernier caliper, 25 millimetres in front of the outer edge. Measurements should be taken at a minimum of 10 spots around the circumference and should be no greater than a variation of 0.03 of a millimetre between any of the measurements. Cleaning is critical for both new and remachined rotors. This manufacturing process includes oils, graphite, carbon and silicon. And new parts are generally covered with a rust preventative film and they can end up leaving a residue on the rotor. If not cleaned carefully during installation, these compounds and chemicals can impregnate the brake pads resulting in reduction in brake performance and an increase in the likelihood of squeaking and shuddering of brake pads. After machining old rotors, it's recommended by Bendix to avoid the problem reoccurring that you use a medium to fine grit emery on the rotor while spinning after machining to ensure that the disc is completely free of burrs. With new rotors, spraying a non-corrosive, non-staining brake cleaner such as Bendix brake, parts cleaner and degreaser to remove any rust protection from the new rotors and clean away any residue from the machine parts is essential to ensure these are completely clean. Bendix brake parts cleaner and degreaser can be used on all brake parts including brake assemblies, ABS, brake drums, disc pad backing plates, calipers and wheel cylinders. It is designed to penetrate rapidly, clean instantly and evaporate quickly. It can also be applied without disassembling the brakes. All components can then be wiped off with a clean soft cloth. The rotor should be replaced or machined with a light skim to clean up any DTV flat spots. If the vehicle is using ceramic pads, the rotor should be machined on every brake job. Calipers should be overhauled, side pins must move freely, and the piston seals must be checked for good condition or replaced. This thickness variation will not occur if there is zero runout on the rotor. Vehicle design tolerance variations in general wear and tear however, may mean that a zero runner at tolerance is unachievable. On vehicle measurement of rotor runout using an accurate dial indicator coupled with a good quality torque wrench to tighten the wheel nuts will minimise DTV effect. Less runout leads to lower DTV generation. Installed runout should be less than 0.1 of a millimetre and when this cannot be achieved, checks on the bearings, flange, stub axle and rotors should be made. Wheel nuts should be evenly torqued with the use of a torque wrench to avoid distortion.